Hello everyone, today I will introduce a new product to all of you. The new product is I24. In fact, in fact I24 is the chassis name. The I24 is a high density product. They can install 4 nodes at a maximum to I24 server. The name of the node is NS5162M5. So I24 is the chassis name and uh, NS5162M5 is the not name. Now I, I introduce the new product from the following four parts. The part one, product introduction, part two, Function the model instruction part three assistant assembler and uh, debugging and part four maintenance. So let's begin the part one. This picture shows the product pictures. The first picture is uh, Two support file enters hard drive configuration of I24. So we can see there are 12 hard drives in the server. We can install uh, 12 hard drive at a uh, maximum number. This one, this picture here is the 2.5 inches hard drive configuration of I24. So we can install 24 hard drive at, at a maximum number. This picture is not an S5162 M5. So we can see there are the memory CPU. This page shows the overall introduction. We can we can see we can see the hard drive is installed on the i24, and there are the memory CPUs are installed in the NS5162 M5 and uh, we we can install the NS file one C two M four M file server on the I twenty four. This page shows the product features and uh, specific specifications. This uh, process chipset memory memory type. USB interface, display interface, serial interface, front panel LEDs, hard drive backplan, and uh, management chip, NIC, NIC control, PCI expansion slot, hard drive type, power supply. So we can see the server can support uh, two socket and uh, can support uh, 16, 16 memories in, in one node. So uh, we, uh, the, the, the I24 can support uh, four nodes. So there are, are 16 four uh, memories in total. And the management chip is the uh, BMC. BMC, we can uh, manage the server and the monitor the server from the, from, from the BMC. Hard driver support up to 2.5 uh, inches hard driver. The power supply double power supplies of 200 water and above output power. 
1 plus 1 with redundancy to power models. This page shows the product picture of the whole server i24. The front view, we can see the hard drive and uh, the power button, the, the ID button, button, and the view view, we can see the, the four nodes. The top view, we can see, um, we put out the, the cover, we can see the nodes in, inside. This page shows the product picture of one node. AS5162M5. The top view of the node, we can see the memories, the CPU, and the PCI pension slot. The left view of the node and the view view of the node. This page shows the front panel of 3.5 inches configuration. The front panel the number one is power button. If we if we power on the server the light is green. When we power off the server the light is orange. Then we press about uh, 4 seconds to force shut down, force shut down the server. The number two is the UID button. This, this button um, contains two functions. Turn on off, turn on or, or turn off UID. Uh, when we turn on the UID button, the light is blue. When we press uh, about uh, 6 seconds to, um, to force restart, it will restart the server, restart the server, restart the server OS. The number 3 part is the system photo indicator. When the indicator is off, the system is normal means the system is normal. When the indicator re is is read, the light is read. It mean it means that is, there there is error occurred. When the light is blinking red, it means there is alarm on the server. The part 4 is the CMC management port. It is a mini USB port interface. If we, if we want, if we want to manage the, manage the CMC, we need to, we need to use a mini USB to RG14 file cable to connect uh, the CMC management port to our computer and uh, we can log in the um, web to manage the CMC. The, the second picture is also the, the front panel. We can see the detailed, detailed information. Number one, the three hard drivers. The hard, those hard drivers is uh, uh, not uh, uh, belong to uh, is, uh, those three those three hard drives belong to node A from top to bottom is slot uh, slot, in, slot 0, slot 1, slot 2 the part 2 the part two is the is the part two are the hard uh the hard drives belong that that belongs to that belong to the node B. From top to bottom, 
there are slot 0, slot 1, slot 2, and part 3, and part 4. Those hard drives belong to not C and not the D. From top to bottom, the, they are slot 0, slot 1, slot 2. The part 5, the front control board of node C, it can control the server to power on or power off and uh, it has a dedicator. The dedicator can choose the system folder. It means with it means here, the function is here. And the part six is the front control board of node D. And the part seven is the front control board of node B. The part eight is the front control board of node A. So this one is node A and uh, those hard Java belong to node A. This front control board uh, Belongs, belongs to node B and uh, those hard drives belong to node B. Part 5 This front, front, front control board uh, belongs to node C. Those three, those three hard drives belong to node C. Part 6 belongs, not, belongs to node D and those hard drives belong to node D. And, uh, and, and uh, part 9 is the same with the uh, picture part 4. CMC management port. This one is uh, the front panel, front panel, front panel of 2.5 inches hard drive configuration. The part 5, part 6, part 7, part 8, and part 9 is the same with these pictures. Only there are uh, there, the, the this configuration can can support can max, maximum support uh, support uh, about uh, 24 uh, max, maximum support uh, 24 hard drives, but hard drives uh, are 2.5 inches. The part one, those are the those 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 six drivers. Those six hard drives belong to node A. Those six hard drives belong to node B. Those six hard drives belong to node C. Those six hard drives belong to node D. This page shows the real panel view of the server. With picture, we can see the four nodes, nodes. The part one, it is the UID button, UID light and the reset, reset button. Press the six click to force restart. Please remember, force restart is means Restart the system, restart the OS operating system. The part two is OCP or V card. To choose for customers OCP card or V card. Next part, I will tell you what 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 is the what are, what are difference what is the difference between OCP card and V card. The part three is the BMC reset button. We can we can press the button to reset the BMC. The part four is the IPMI management port. Yes, 
it is also the BMC management part. We can we can we, we can call it a BMC management port or IPMI management port. We can log in the management web to control or monitor the server. Part file is the SUV point. It is a high de high density interface. It uh, the the SUV point uh, includes includes uh, two USB port, uh, one VGA port, and uh, two integrated uh, theory point. So if we want to if you want to um uh, if we want to have the uh, display of the server we need to connect the SUV port SUV port the the part six and the part seven is the PCI expansion slot this picture should not should fall not the part one, yes, the part one is the node C, and the part two, part two is the PSU zero. Part three, part three here is the node two, node D, node D. The part four, part four is the PSU one. So, so the top PSU is the is the PSU zero. The bottom PSU is the PSU one. Part five is not A. The part six is not B. So from the part one, we have see the the picture of the I twenty four and the picture of of the NS five one six two M file. So we have a uh, knowledge of the server. Now uh, let's uh, let's learn in the part two. Don't send the model in introduction. This this page is uh, uh this page shows the uh, motherboard. Uh, Topology. We can see uh, the part, uh, the connection, the connection um, between the parts of the server. So this one, this those two are the CPU, and those and those are the memories. This is the chipset, PCIe loose bug chipset, and this is the BMC chipset, BMC chip. We, from the picture, we can see uh, each CPU have have six channels, and uh, each CPU can control eight memories. Eight memories. So uh, the server NS five one six two main file can maximum support six. 16 memories, 16 memories, 16 memories. But we we can we but we should um we should understand the channel A, channel A can support two DM, the channel B only support one DM, the channel channel C can only support one DM, the channel D can support two DM, two DM, the channel E. Can support and the channel F only support one DIM. And the it is the same with um with CPU with CPU link CPU zero. The CPU one is is the same with CPU zero. So I have listed the key point. Each CPU support eight memories eight memories in six channels. The motherboard with OCPA, OCPB, OCPC interface supports OCP stand card and FIC card. So 
What is the difference between OCP standard card and fee card? The OCP standard card, we can install it on the OCP A slot. The OCP the fee card, we can install it on the OCP C slot. And uh, the OC OCP standard card have has its uh, has its have it yourself um network uh, um chipset, but uh, the ficket have no network um chipset. So um, where is the chipset of ficket? Uh, the chipset is from PCH chip. The M.2 interface on the motherboard supports PCI signal or SATA signal. So we can install M.2 hard, hard, hard disk or SATA SAS hard drive. There are two OQ-Link interfaces on the motherboard which support uh, 8 SATA signal. 8 SATA signal. This page has shown the motherboard low art. They can see the motherboard and the CPU, the two CPUs and the 16 memories. Each CPU can support eight memories. Each CPU can support six, six channels and um, eight memories. You can see CPU 0, channel 0, DMU, DMU 1, CPU 0, channel 0, DMU 0, CPU 0, channel 1, DMU 0, CPU 0, channel 2, DMU 0. And uh, this one, and uh, those memories belong to CPU 1. The PCI chipset, the PCI, the PCI expansion, the PCI expansion, the two, the two, the two, the two interface are OQ link interface. This page shows, this page shows System scheme. The red line is the is the line of power supply. The green line is the line of signal. This one, the the power line, the the power supply from PSU to the power power back plan, then to the Management board, it is the CMC board. Then to the hard drive, the, then to hard, hard drive back plan, and to the shard board, then the, at last to the motherboard. The signal, the signal, we can see the signal, BMC send the signal to the Side board, then to the hard job back plan, then to the management board, and the PSU send the signal to the power back plan, then to the CMC, and this is the fan. The fan send to the send signal to the CMC. So we can we can we can control the all the server, the whole server from the CMC, and also we can control the control the node from the BMC. Attention, sideboard one and sideboard two are two independent side panels supporting different hard disk configurations. 
When used, a motherboard can only be matched with one side panel. This page shows the storage model. The first picture is for the 2.5 inches hard drive configuration. From left to right, um, last we have, I have taught us the part one, the part one hard drives are for the node, node A, the part two hard drives are for the node B, the part three hard drives are for the node C, the part four hard drives are for the node D, A0, A1, A, A2, A3, A4, A5, the, so the, this bigger test is the 3.5 inches configuration. Those are the attentions. The server with the 3.5 inches hard drive Backplane can support NVMe disk. Only set SAS SSD are supported. They have two kinds of backplane for the 2.5 configuration. One of them support NVMe edge hard drive, about uh, 16 hard drive, and another one supports 24 hard NVMe hard drive. The one supports MVM, uh, 16 hard MVME from left to right. The first four slots support MVME hard drive. That's the first, uh, the first slot. The first hard drive slot can support MVME hard drive. And it is, the, it is the same for every node. So the, the order to install disk should be MVME first and then SSD hard drive, SAS hard drive, SATA hard drive. It means, it means if you, uh, if you, uh, install, um, two types, uh, uh, hard drive, you need to follow the, follow the order to install the hard drive. There are three kinds of hard drive back plan. There are four 3.5 inches, four 2.5 inches, four 2.5 inches. The interface of the three kind of hard drive backplane are all same. The interface are all same. This page shows the storage model. It 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 shows it it shows the the sideboard. Not sideboard main function conclude conclude functions conclude the data signal and the power power supply signal. There is a such interface on the on the side plane. To connect to the OQ link interface or such read card on the motherboard and connect to the hard drive backplane via high density interface, power supply signal, supplying power for model, not high density, high density interface connected to hard drive backplane to be powered. This page shows the power supply model. This one is a power board. The interface are uh, as below. The the power the power interface interface. They can connect the cable to the interface. The other side is connected to hard drive like a plane. Uh, the cable. Other, the other side of the cable is connected to 
hard drive backup plan. Those two are the PSU. The order is as below. This one is the PSU0. This one is the PSU1. This pattern shows a cooling model. There are four models in total. Four, four, four nodes concentrated cooling. In fact, every fan model includes two fans, so there should be eight fans in the server. So we can see the eight fans uh, on the BMC variable. We can see um, the fans speed, the fan speed. We can, and we can control the speed. This page shows the management model. There are two level management, BMC management and uh, CMC management. BMC, there is BMC chip followed standard IPMI 2.0 in every node. So the BMC is on node is on node, remote control, alarm management, status monitor, server information management, cooling control, IPM2 management, web management. We also use risk to risk function. We can log in log 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 in the PMC web and manage the server account centralized management. This is the CMC management. Every chassis have a CMC management model in order to control and manage the status of all nodes, power, mod power models, fans, and other models. We can configure the CMC IP address by DHCP2, and we can see the CMC IP address from bus of NS5162 M5, but we can't change the IP address or, co or configure the IP address from the bus of NS5162 M5. So we can we can you can control and manage the status of all nodes, power models, fans, and other models from, from the CMC management model. How, how, how to manage, how to use, how to uh, use the CMC management model? We need to, we need to have a a mini USB to RG145 cable and uh, connect the server the one side connect to the server and uh, the other side connect to our computer and then we need to configure the CMC IP address we can configure the CMC IP address by DHCP2 uh, after we connect the server CMC point we can configure the CMC IP address by DHCP2. And then we can open we can open our process processor, processor and uh, input the IP address and then log in the CMC management web and uh, then we can control and manage the status of those part of those parts. And the other point, we can see the CMC IP address from both, from the bus of NS5162 M5, but we can't change the IP address, and we can't configure the IP address from the bus of NS5162 M5. You should remember this point.
from the part two, we have we have learned uh, uh, the functional um, the functional model of the server, and then at the end, I will I will tell you how to assemble and debug the server. So let's be, let's begin to start uh, to study this part. Assembly chassis cover and uh, blocked node. Rotate chassis uh, screws to unlock. Use your tumbler to clasp the semicircle buckle in the side face of chassis. Hold up hard to open the cover. The tool is plugged node. Release the screws behind the chassis, pull the handle of the node, and pull out the node in the same time. Release the screws behind the chassis, with screws, screws, and pull the handle of the node, pull the handle of the node, and pull out, and pull out the node in the same time. So you can pull, you can plug, you can Pull out the node, node. This one is the, is this one is for the motherboard. Lay the node chassis flat to the worker platform. Hold the motherboard in two hands. Tito to your left hand about 15 degrees. Then Put the motherboard into the chassis and fix it to the locating schedule. Get the 11 screws on. Because of the heat dissipation, the heat of two CPU fans is different. The two fans is different. The heat is different. The heat of the, these fans is higher than It's fine. This one, this picture is uh, is for the node CPU. The is it shows how to assemble the CPU. We should follow the one, two, three, four, and then and install install the CPU. This one is for the node memory, how to install the memory. Step 1. Open the fixed uh, buckles of the slot. Step 2. Make the gap right into memory slot location. Press both ends of the memory, get it completely into the slot, then fix it up. And the uh, other important point. The memory installation principles. Those slots are right or black. So the right slot preview VT. The memory of CPU one should be stored symmetrically with CPU zero. Then we have Single a single we have when we have single CPU the memory in accordance with the order of six screen. When we have one memory, we should we should install it on CPU zero channel zero dim zero star slot. When we have two memories, we should slot them on the CPU 0, channel 0, DIMM 0, and uh, CPU 0, channel 1, DIMM 0. And, uh, and follow, the, follow, follow this, follow this hard, which order. And when, when we have double CPU, the memory in accordance with the order of thicker screen. 
سپیولین We have one memory. We need to install it on CPU zero, channel zero, and DIMM zero. When we have two memories, we need to install one on CPU link, CPU zero, channel zero, DIMM zero, and install another one on CPU one, channel zero, DIMM zero. This page shows how to how to install the node sideboard. Step one: install the side plate to the side bracket and fix the two screws. The two screws. The side plate. Install the side plate to the side bracket. The step two: insert the bracket. With the touch side plant into the slot in the motherboard as shown is the following figure. Warning, due to the small space, don't hit memory model or C. You can see the memory and uh, there is so there are, there is a small space. We need to um, take care of this part. Step 3. Use the four Kanashuka screws to skew, skew the shard board bracket, bracket, bracket to the node chassis, as shown in the following figure. As the file, shard boards with SAS cables require that the other end of the SAS cable being plugged into the motherboard connector. Note that uh, the JTAN connector plugs into the connector near the other side of the motherboard. Then get 21 plugs into the another connector and then stretch the cables close to the chassis. Follow the picture. Be careful, be careful of the connector. This page shows the installation of RAD card. Step 1. Install the left and right RAD cards into the left and right RAD card brackets, the brackets and secure them with two screws. Two screws. Note that the difference between the left and right as shown below. This one is the right right card. This one is the left right card. They are the, they are different. Step two: install the assembly the left right card into a slot corresponding to the node as shown is the, in the following figure. Install the assemble, assemble the right right card hold over the appropriate set. Appropriate uh, slot and uh, screw with the contract uh, heat screw on the side. Finally, press the lock card. Follow the, follow the picture to install. Step 3. If you configure an editing board, install the editing board in the PCIe slot on the right card and uh, fasten the card in the editing board. PCIe slot specification PCIe um, 16 slot This page shows the installation of extractor M.2 hard drive Step 1 If the node has a M.2 hard drive hard disk you must first install the M.2 bracket on the RAD card and use one screw to fix it as shown in the following figure. You need to, you need to install the M.2 bracket on the RAD card 
and uh, fixture screw. Step 2. Insert the M.2 hard drive into the interface of the red card evenly and uh, then press the fixed bucket into the bucket. Insert the M.2.0 socket first. If you need to install two M.2 hard, hard drivers, turn, turn over the red card and install the second hard, M.2 hard drive into the M2 one, M2, the M2 one interface according to the same operation as shown below. Step 3. Finally, the assembled M.2 model is inserted into the corresponding slot in the node and fixed with the screw as shown in the red circle at This pattern shows uh, the installation of OCP or fake card, OCP standard card or fake card. Step 1. Please install a corresponding fake card or OCP standard card um, within from chassis, chassis inside. Control within from left inside chassis through whole position. Then make right button snap in place. Insert the slots of fee card or OCP standard card. Align the button. Target to the location on the card. Step 3. Press drag to the fee card or OCP standard card into the interface. Make sure the force steady, steady plastic Pillars snap to edge of fake card or OCP standard card. This page shows the installation of the network card. The PN, the part PN, the part number is YZCA 00431101 and the Back plan support support C-Link manager features. Those network, those network cards can support C-Link manager features. We can use the card to manage the BMC. Before install the install the network card, please confirm the network jumper hit location according to the temple of slot. Insert uh, 8 uh, plus 1 slot uh, per priority. Keep default uh, jumper pin 122. Enable NCSI for function. Then you can insert uh, um, 16 slot, the PCI 16 slot, but you must manual control to jumper to pin 223. Enable NCIS, NCI, NCI, two, this one is disable, it's not enable. Disable NCIS functions. Warning, if, if not do so, the board may be burned. This one is disable, not enable. Insert PCI 8 slot at first, at last, in the must be manual control to jump to Pin 223 disable NCI function. Yes, which one is right? If the jumper the jumper is uh, pin one two pin one two two, it it means enable the it means to enable the NCI function. If the jumper is pin two two three it means uh, it means uh, to disable 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 the NCS NCSI function. This page shows how to install the window guard cover. After install the DIM, the members install the window guard cover. Pay attention to the direction and uh, the hookers beside.
it is just it is simple for us to install. This page shows the hard disk decline. Uh, this page shows the installation of hard drive backplane. Step one, hold the blue blue card. Hold the blue card on the back of the hard hard drive in two hands. The blue. This one, the blue, the blue, the blue screw is stored down into, but uh, slightly to the right, uh, fitting, protection to all the fixed slot at the bottom of the chassis must be installed in place. When finished, uh, rotate two blue hooks to the right, uh, C19 to stack. Power Power card, power cable installation refer to the image page 17. Due to the small space of power board, we suggest that production should install the power cable into the corresponding interface before assembly the power board. This one is the detailed information. If before we before we install the Power cable, uh, internal. We need to um follow this part. This page shows the installation of power board. First, uh, this uh, sim this uh, the the venture stand uh, pay attention to each other with a screw and then move move to the gap position. At last, you can remove, remove it, then install the power backplane. Then leftmost uh, power backplane is two gold uh, type of fixed hole, posited and locked with six screws. After the power board is installed, place the disassembled wing stand. Warning, the power board has two gold port card on it. You need to get it out gently, which is easy to catch the main power supply board. You need to pay attention to install, install the power board. It is a little difficult for us to install the this one. This panel shows the management, the installation of management board. The part the step one, step one, as shown in the figure, in the picture, mount the management board on the bracket and fix it with the four screws. Step three, insert the single line into the corresponding terminal. Pay attention to the direction of ins insertion that in terminal, terminal is for proof design. Please note that the uh, terminal should be inserted uh, in place to avoid any problems with the poor contact. Warning, the red line is the first pin that needs to be aligned with the first pin of the inverted uh, triangle on the card. The red line is the first pin. We need Install the, the line from this part. Step 3 Place the assembled management board into the corresponding location. The management board has a metal pin needs to insert the power board slot as shown below. Management board on the upper end of the board supports to skew the card to the Corresponding location in the chassis, and uh, then turn the two blue tables to screw the ma management board. So from the part three, we learn we learn how to uh, install the um, the parts of uh, to the server. Um, include uh, the include the 
a motherboard, the memory, the hard disk backplane, the power model, the power backplane, and the window card cover, the network card, the OCP card, the standard card, standard card, and the fake card. So, um, so let's begin to let's start to study the part four, and the part four is the last part. The part four maintenance maintenance. This first part shows uh, how to replace the BIOS, BMC, and the FIU. The BMC first, we can use the four the four ways the four ways to refresh the BMC. Use the SOC flash tool to refresh it on DOS. Use the SOC flash tool to refresh it on EFI. Use SOC flash tool on to refresh it on Linux OS. Refreshing on BMC Web GUI, refresh process is the same as M4 platform. But, uh, but there is a key point I need us to, to remember. BMC is mirrored on M5 platform. Two images are stored on the same chip. So the update process needs to be done twice. If we refresh the BMC on BMC Web, 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 Web GUI, we can choose we can choose the, the refresh the two BMC images together. Uh, so we can update uh, only 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 once. We we choose to refresh them together. So we can update the uh, process need to be once. Need to be done once. The bar to refresh. Use AFU2 to refresh on EFI. Use AFU2 to refresh on Linux OS. Refreshing on BMC Web or DUI. Refreshing process is the same as M4 platform. Not Bars can't be updated on the DOS on the M5 platform. This one is the FIU refresh. Use IPMI CFG2 to refresh on DOS. CMC refresh. Refreshing on CMC Web GUI. Not need the uh, first, at first we need, we need a a uh, mini USB to RJ14 file cable. We need the, we need the cable. Then, uh, then we need to connect the cable to the server from our computer to the server. Then we can, we can use a DHCP tool to, to configure the CMC IP address. Then we use the IP address to log in the CMC um, web and uh, refresh the CMC firmware. Pay attention to this, this part, this point. I suggest, refre I suggest refreshing the firmware on BMC Web. But uh, when we refresh the FIU, we need to uh, use the IPMI CFG2 on DOS OS, so we need we need a DOS PE DOS we need to we need a DOS PE. Um, um, we can uh, learn how to make a DOS PE from our knowledge base, and uh, we have taught we have trained we have we have trained us how how to make a PE. This one is a read page, page shows how to use our knowledge base. Log in the knowledge base to learn more knowledge of I24. The website is here. We can log in.
the the username is overseas. I think uh, all of you have the username. And then we can we can learn the we can learn the knowledge of uh, I24, the bar setting, the beam setting, the same settings, the jump settings, the multiple loadout, the patch description, the related download, the technical characteristics. And also we can learn um we can learn we can, we can learn other products, for example, the NF file 2880 M4, the file, the NF file 2880 M file. At last, I want to, um, I want to, um, tell, I want to tell you how to, um, refresh the BMC and the bars from the BMC web. So I need I choose a, a server. First of all, I need to log in. And this is a, um the this is the page of uh, of a M five server. We can, yes, which one is the uh, firmware update? Uh, it, it is for, um, it is for updating BMC. You can see, they have, they have two images. So when we update the, when we update the BMC firmware, we need to, we need to choose this part, this, um, this part. We need to choose both images, so we can update the both image images together. And then, and the family update model and the refresh is the BMC firmware. And this part is for how to for uh, update the BIOS firmware. We need to choose uh, choose this one, VM VMaker VMaker, and the uh, and then enter firmware update model. So, um, uh, that's all I want to um, tell you. So I now I make a summary about the about the server. The server i24 includes four nodes. The node name is NS51 C285 uh, M file. Every node is independent of each other. Every node is in independent of each other. But we can monitor and control every node from CMC, from the I24 CMC. The new product training is over here. So thank you. Have a good learning.